Yeah, the Eddie Horvath here. This is one of the first things I do when I get to the sawmill is... Look at the log yard. See what big and ugly came in? We got logs this way, we got logs that way. It looks like a pile of small cherry. Got some Bing fire cherry. Some black cherry. See a nice piece of walnut or two there. Let's see if we can get them up on the mill. A lot of firewood. Come across a lot of it over a period of time. Let's see what we got here. We got, we got some pin oaks and some white oak and some maple. And over here, another pretty good pile of, looks like cherry and maple. This one's been here a while. This is some pine and some more cherry. A lot of this will go through the fire processor when it gets that small. Or it gets that big and ugly. <laughs> Doesn't make much board. Some more Bing cherry, black cherry. Like I said, that's the first thing I do when I get here is I take a take a ride up through and see what came in, what needs to be done, what we can put on the saw and saw. It's uh, if you don't have logs, you don't have a sawmill. So well, I'm getting down here. I'll get parked and I'll get right back with you. This is the second thing I do is I come greet my partner, Mark How Galici. Are you doing? How hey, you what doing? are you doing with the camera, Ed? I'm becoming a YouTuber. I'm a, I'm a filmer now. I'm shocked. Yeah, I'm, oh, on, a, I'm on the lower good. end of the mill. Mark, he's up on the upper well, end of the great, mill. Great, great. Well, the bus motor woke up. Um, I hear it running. The motor still don't like... Uh, the, the battery's still too low. I don't know. We're going to have to... I got that cable for the uh, generator. We'll show that. That 12 volt plug. Yeah. We're gonna hook that up and see if it will. Did I'm you happen to bring that charger? I'm no oh, good. Did. All right, let's let's get that yeah, out. Let's, let's get something else done. Got to get a fire going too.
usual one today came off of this blocking. We don't want to put it to waste and make farmers grade flooring. Nice flooring. All right, everyone. Well, we got everything shut down here. We shut the the Detroit off and shut the chop chaw off and the blower out back and the generator. Now you could probably hear me. Here's what we sold today. This is what they call pig nut hickory. That's what we call it in Pennsylvania, at least. And it grows pretty much down the whole eastern United States, down the Appalachia Trail there, down along there, whole way into Georgia as far as I know. But it's not a, a furniture wood that I know of. Uh, we don't, uh, we don't uh, make it into furniture at least. But what we used it for today was uh, blocking. You watched us cut the bridge. We call it bridge blocking here. And, they run heavy equipment on it because it takes a lot to crush a piece of hickory. A uh, couple other uses for it. Hardwood flooring, if they'll put it into a three-quarter inch tongue and groove, uh, makes a real nice looking floor. I don't know much about making trim out of it. I know the workability is high, so you want sharp tools when you're working with it. They use it for barn beams. Uh, they'll use it on the floor in a barn. We, you'll hear us refer to farmer's grade, and that's they'll use it for different things, fencing, what have you. It, it's it grows about everywhere, so it's it's not hard to come by. It at one time they they didn't even cut most hickory, and what happens is when you don't cut a species of tree like that it tends to take over and, and it grows plentiful and it did and it still does the nuts on it are edible they call it pig nut his hickory and i don't know why it's got something to do with a pig oh uh, maybe they ate the nuts of it if you know comment on it and uh i just wanted to touch base like i said with you here subscribe and uh Hit the like if you liked it, and if you have a comment of what you want to see, let me know about that too. And hey, you know what? Take time, be kind to somebody today, and I'll I'll leave you with that, and I thank you.